Working the political process in Washington, D.C. is nothing new. U.S. Representative Mike Conaway of Midland has served in Congress for 10 years. Working the controls of a cotton module builder in a South Plains field, that's a first. Conaway spent the day recently in Dawson County with cotton farmers and industry leaders in his district. It was Cotton Day in La Mesa. Well, just the mechanics are the more I can understand about how uh, what farmers and, and producers actually do day in and day out, how they uh, the, all the responsibilities they have and, and just the mechanics of how it, how it goes on, uh, I think gives me a better perspective on representing them. And I think it makes me a better member of Congress by being able to come here. His cotton day also included driving a module truck, ginning cotton, pulling a cotton sample for classing, and helping to class that sample. As an accountant by training, do you make a good hand in the cotton field? Well, I'll leave that judgment up to someone else. I don't think I was at it long enough to really make a, a judgment on that. Uh, the fellow that was helping, uh, Danny, that was helping with the module said that I was doing pretty good there. So uh, uh, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I haven't had anybody offer me a job. Cotton Day in La Mesa gave event sponsors a chance to promote the importance of the local cotton industry. It also strengthened the industry's relationship with their member of Congress. Congressman Conway has always been to Dawson County to find answers to cotton questions, and whether it's with the Dawson County Farm Bureau or the La Mesa Cotton Growers or Plains Cotton Growers. He's been real receptive and always asked for input. The politics of Washington, D.C. were openly discussed in the cotton field. Conaway could be in a prime seat. He is hoping to serve as the next chairman of the House Committee on Agriculture in the new Congress. I've built a uh, now 10-year career history uh, with my colleagues. They know how hard I work and what I do and how I make decisions and how I approach uh, various issues. I think I've laid the groundwork uh, to prove myself uh, that, uh, that I'm ready to take on that responsibility. The 114th Congress convenes on January 3rd of next year. For TFB News, Gary Joyner, La Mesa.